Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today we're talking about treating beech leaf disease. I have an American beech tree. I have a number of these on my property. If I have a tree service, come and treat these trees. It's gonna cost me $500. I'm gonna show you how to do the exact same thing the tree service would do for a fraction of the price. So beech leaf disease, your tree's gonna start looking like this. You get striping and banding, curling leaves, dropping leaves, dropping buds. This beech tree right here, I started treating this last year. That canopy used to be completely full to the point where you could not see through it. Now it's about half full. And you can even actually tell right up at the very top, there's very little impact from a beech leaf disease up at the top, it's still very full. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna apply it to the soil. It's gonna promote growth in this tree, help boost the immune system. And even on the small beech tree, it's about 10 feet tall, five or so inch diameter near the bottom. I treated this tree last year and surprising results. It has tons and tons of new growth on it. Yes, it's still dropping some of the old growth. Some of those buds taking longer to open. That's really surprising to have brand new growth here that's not affected yet. And hopefully we can keep that tree growing well. Basically what it is, it's a nematode that's infecting the buds. It's a microscopic worm and it's gonna live in those buds over the winter to the point where these might dry out and not open up. But hopefully what we're gonna accomplish, you know, you have all these infected buds here, but then we have brand new growth showing up. Here we have this bud impacted, but we have brand new growth showing up right next to it. So while untreated, this entire branch might end up falling off and dying or promoting growth here. This bud falls off because it's infected. Then we have brand new leaves. Something else that I've noticed, at least on my property and the woods behind my property, the beech trees, they're in the very shaded, thick part of the woods. These trees are getting damaged very quickly, dying very quickly. And this looks absolutely awful compared to the other trees on my property that are out in bright full sun, getting more water. So if you're thinking about saving any particular trees, save the ones that have more sun, or cut down the trees around them that are shading them, and they may have more chance of survival. For the beech leaf disease treatment, I'm using two different products. I'm gonna apply them one month apart. The first is soluble potash, and then the second I'm using is a polyphosphite product. This is the recommended one. I bought it in a two and a half gallon jug. Use two ounces per inch diameter of the tree, diluted with 14 ounces of water per the two ounces. Because both the phosphite and the soluble potash are high in the potassium, this one's going to be a 0027. The soluble potash I'm using is 0050. So you don't want to apply both at the same time unless you're doing half and half. What I'm doing is one month I'm doing the soluble potash and then one month later doing the phosphite treatment. So you can do this two different ways. You can dig a trench around the tree or just a hole. Soluble potash 0050. It's got the soluble potash K20, also has sulfur in it. So you want to measure the diameter of the tree, and you're going to use two ounces of sulfite or sulfate diluted in water per inch diameter. For example, if this is a 12 inch diameter tree, you want to use 24 ounces of the sulfite or sulfate, and then dilute that in water. They say 14 ounces of water per two ounces. I just make sure I use enough water. It's okay if you have extra water in there. So I'm using a bucket that has lines to make it easy to measure, mix it up, and pour it into the trench. This will get heavy, so I'm filling up and mixing it right next to the trench, so I can just tip it into the trench. I'm stirring up just a little bit of water, stirring it up, I'll add water, stir it some more. I want to make sure this all dissolves. That's the solution you're looking for there. Pour that into the trench all the way around the tree.
the goal is it's gonna sink right down into the roots, not gonna run off anywhere. It's very similar to when the tree service, they use that long pole to inject it straight down into the roots. So that absorbed really nicely into the soil. I'll fill in the trench, repeat the process for the rest of my beech trees. So now that that's finished, I'm gonna repeat that one more time during the growing season, one month from now. The growing season here is May through August. You can also keep the tree well watered during times of drought. That will definitely help a lot as well. i show you this. This is about one month later after the first treatment. It's actually tons of brand new growth, all the bright green. These are really nice leaves that are showing up now. So that's exactly what you want to see. So you have the old leaves that are infected from the buds. Then you have the brand new growth, those bright green leaves, perfect shape. So the tree can keep up with the disease. For a one foot diameter tree, for example, I'm going to use 24 ounces of phosphite, diluted 168 ounces of water. And of course, you can do more water if you want. And for my one foot diameter tree that I'm going to treat right now, that's 24 ounces of the phosphite, which is three cups. I'm not going to measure it, just be close to three cups. Take this outside now, fill it up pretty high with water, and apply it to the tree as a soil drench. Again, I dug a trench around the beech tree. So I finished those two applications one month apart. This is the second time that I've treated the beech trees on my property. About five good sized beech trees. Between the soluble potash and the phosphite product, I spent about $200. It's gonna last me about three years. And it's definitely having a noticeable effect on my beech trees versus other beech trees nearby. All my beech trees actually have more new growth this year than they did last year. So I think it is having a noticeable effect and hopefully it'll keep up with the beech leaf disease. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.